Welcome back to the Crown of the Ivory King. Let's go take another crack at the two tigers. Hopefully this time I have as much luck running away from the reindeer as I did last time. Because last time I got like 50% of the way there, or maybe even more, before the first reindeer came for me. If they come earlier this time, I'm going to have a bit more trouble. I don't even know if I'm going the right way. Follow the bloodstains. Okay, great. That's a terrible, terrible beginning. I'm not going the right way, am I? No, I'm not. Jesus. I think it's doing the jump in the air thing and shoot a couple weird thingies at me. Okay, there's the first building. Oh, here we go. God, did I just hear another one? No, I think that's just the sound of it jumping in the air. Okay. Ooh, I think there's two. I'm hearing a lot of hooves behind me. Pretty good at dodging that. Oh, not good at dodging that, though. Oh, shit. Oh, no. Okay, I'm good. I'm good. No big deal. No biggie. No smally. Maybe a medium, me medium leap. <laughs> oh my god, they almost reached me. Shit. Okay, I think I'm gonna make it, yeah. Pretty much here, I just gotta go forwards, drop down, go on the bridge, and then we are good. Okay. Am I there? Yes, I am. Alright, 7S is not bad. I'm probably more likely to die from spontaneous death rather than lacking Estus, so I don't think my Estus is going to be a problem. Alright. Go, 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 go. Alright, that's about five minutes just to have one more attempt at Lud, the king's pet.
Oh man. I think I timed that fine. I think it's just that I... I, I think I maybe could like dodge too close into him. Okay, shit, here we go. Alright, here we go. I can't see what's happening! Really not a hard fight when you're just fighting the one, but as soon as the second one comes in, oh. You know, it strikes me that um, a ranged weapon would, or not just a ranged weapon, but just ranged attacks of any kind, magic or arrows, would probably be vastly superior for this. Because they actually spend a lot of time away from you, running away from you to get ready to pounce, running away from you to get ready to do the magic thing. Yeah, ranged weapons would probably be a th about a thousand times better. But that is not really an option. Well, another five minute trek through the reindeer country. Alright, this time let's try going through the valley. Not up on the hills. I feel like there's just more of the reindeer up on the hills, but I don't know if that's actually true. It might just be coincidence. Or confirmation bias or something. Am I even going the right way? Oh, shit. I guess I am. Yeah, it really does seem like there are there are less of the reindeer if you just stay in the center. That's not to say there's none of them. Almost there, just go straight forwards, fall down, go to the right.
Well, that's a bad start. What the hell? I swear I timed that fine. <laughs> Seriously? Did I not just drink an Estus? Did it not heal me fast enough, or did I cancel out of it or something? What the hell? God, this boss fight is interesting, but the road to it is just... It fucking sucks. Even if I don't have to fight these things, even if I can run away from them, just running away from enemies for like five minutes just to get there really blows I knew. like it's just a slog it's not good it's not a good challenge it's not interesting it's just annoying I'll be around if you make it back I've, I've been really happy with every boss fight in the DLCs, and I think the DLCs are actually more interesting to me than the main game, but... But the design for this, for this boss, and just really more specifically the, the road up to the boss, I really just don't like it. There really should just be another bonfire somewhere here. Like, for example, maybe at the very last building? I mean, look at how long it took me just to get to the last building. That took me many attempts. I think it'd be totally fair for there, for there to be a bonfire right there. Because just getting there is an achievement. Yeah, it seems like I can pretty consistently avoid the reindeer if I just go through the center. Although it seems like I always encounter one right here. Yep. Oh, what the fuck? <laughs> that was interesting. Where am I? Am I here? Shit, I think the bridge is nearby, but where? Where? I can't fucking see! I don't want to fall off! Here it is!
Oh my god. It happened twice in a row. And we do it all over again. Honestly, I pretty much finished the DLC when I defeated the, the main dude. This is kind of just extra. I'm not even sure if I want to do this anymore. I thought I did now that I can avoid actually killing the enemies along the way, but... I don't know. One of the things I've always struggled with in terms of Dark Souls design is repetition. Because you often have to repeat stuff. Especially for bosses. And you often have to go through quite a few enemies, some very hard places, just to get back to a boss and have another attempt at it. And I've always been kind of on the fence about that, because to some degree I think, like, isn't that just a waste of time? You know, why don't you just have a freaking save at the boss? In some way. I mean, I know it uses a bonfire system, not really a save system, but... You know, what's the point of going through those enemies again? Does it actually add anything to the experience? Having to go through them again to get to the boss? And the answer is, yeah, kinda. It adds difficulty. Which means it... You know, feels more satisfying when you do actually get to the boss, but is it worth it? You know, is that actually a good thing to do at all, or is it just a matter of degree? You know, how much time? Is it just like if you, you know, if it's too damn hard and it takes too much time to get to the boss, it's just annoying and, you know, it's just, it's just a matter of getting the level right? It's got to be just enough time and it's got to be just hard enough for it to be a good challenge? Or is it simply a waste of time and it's just not worth it? I don't really know. Even though I've thought sometimes Dark Souls, like... I feel like, intellectually, this should be a waste of time. It, most of the time it didn't bother me too much. Fuck am I? Blizzard, please! So even though it's something that's been in the back of my mind for quite a while, throughout the entirety of Dark Souls, it's never been something that bothered me too much. Until now. This is like the one boss fight where I just think, they went too far, this just fucking sucks. This is this is a waste of my time. Not the boss, but the road up to the boss. I'm not learning anything by running away from the enemies. It, it's just a waste of time. It's just a time sink. That's all it is. It is challenging, sure. And it is going to make it better. It's going to make it feel better when I finally defeat this boss, but I still think it's a waste of my time. Ah, almost got your tail. No, I didn't time it right. I saw it coming. Mm -hmm. 
It's hard to tell when he's going to do one swipe or two. Dodge. Ah, there are some opportunities where I can get two hits in, and I know it, but, you know, if you get... If I get... Like, if I'm in the process of, of doing an animation, and he starts to attack again, you know, I'm screwed. So I really don't want to commit to two attacks. Can I just like plink arrows at your friend up there? You're so close! No! I didn't I wanna jump! Fucking jump! Okay. Okay. Okay, okay. <sighs> calm down, calm down, calm down. Why is the name still down there? You're not going to come back or something, are you? Please don't reincarnate, please. Please. Yeah. Okay. <sighs> Calm down. I got one. This is easy. This is easy. Do not try to attack twice. Just attack once. If I get hit once, heal. Don't push it. That's a new attack. See that one coming? I'm gonna heal. I'm just gonna heal. Oh shit, it's okay. I healed. I healed. I'm fine. Nom, nom on me all, all you want. I'm fine. Don't hurt me none. Dodging bastard. Need stamina. I think I'd do more damage if I hit its head. I just hit its head and it seemed to do a lot of damage. I don't know, maybe I'm just seeing things. I haven't been paying attention to the numbers, to be honest. I'm too busy dodging. <laughs> nice and easy. Slow and steady. Slow and steady. What are you doing? What, what is that? What the fuck? I don't like that. 
I don't like that. What is that? What did you do? You're on fire. Why are you on fire? Holy fuck, I can do like no damage to you. They did like 90 damage. Wait, wait, are you healing? Holy shit, you're healing, what the fuck? Okay, it's over, it's over, it's over, it's okay. Wait, my, oh fuck, my weapons are gonna break. Oh no. Shit, I don't have my fucking repair powder. Fuck, fucking fuck. Oh god. Voodoo! I need to pull out some voodoo! Fuck. Fuck. I need to repair them. I can't fucking use them anymore. I need to repair them right fucking now. Oh no! I didn't even think about that! Fuck! No, wait, wait, I have my- I still have my halberd. I still have my halberd. I'm gonna use my fucking halberd. It's still there. Thank God. Alright, I'm gonna- I'm gonna use these things until they break. Just please don't do that thing again. I don't care if it's at risk. I'm switching. Oh, thank God I had Halby equipped. Halby, I love you. Look at that damage! Dead damage! 300 and something. Don't do the Healy thing again. Please tell me that's a one-time thing, because I know I spent a lot of time not killing you when I could have, because of the weapon thing. One more. One more. One more. Here we go. Here we go! Yes! Oh my god, how fitting is it that I basically ended all of the DLCs with Halby? Even though, for this DLC, I switched. Oh! Be gone, intruder! Yeah. Huh? Huh? What? What are you looking at? What are you looking at, motherfucker? What? Yeah. That's what I thought, fucker. Get out of here. Don't look at me. You have no right to look at me. How fitting is it that I started this DLC switching my weapons? To the Falchions, or however you pronounce it. Even though Halby served me well, I switched weapons. But, I had to switch back to Halby to end the DLC. <laughs> oh. I can't believe I went through the entire durability of my two weapons on just one enemy. Or, well, you know, one encounter, two enemies. I, I wasn't even thinking about that. I didn't even bother to equip my stone whatever ring that increases the, you know, decreases the the rate at which my equipment degrades. I didn't even think to, because I'm just, you know, I'm fighting one boss. How could I possibly go through it all? <laughs> God, I thought I was going to have to go into my equipment, go down here while fighting, and try to navigate to my repair powder. Which is, where the hell is it? There it is. And you can move while doing this, by the way, but you can't, you can't, um, you can't dodge. So, 
Yeah, that would have been a little bit difficult. What the hell? My souls just went up. <laughs> Did he fall off the bridge on the way back? I'm not going back there to check. Happiness, yes. Praise the sun. And look at all these blood stains. Fine work. You too. Hurrah for victory. Where is this taking me? Oh, just back here. <laughs> Visions of horse, butthole. For once, that's true. Ah. <sighs> okay, well I got two souls for that, didn't I? The king, the, uh, the king. The souls of both of the king's pets. Or whatever their names were, I wasn't really looking at them, to be honest. Oh, there we go, yep. Lud and Zalan. The king's pets. Apparently, the king had a lot of pets. Very big ones. Hmm. So there's actually kind of four bosses. I mean, technically three encounters, but there's actually four separate bosses. Well, let's go see what I can make with those souls, shall I? <laughs> 